So you like swing dance history? Here are some unexpected theories that contributed to the swing revival. There are as many theories about why swing has returned as there are moves to do on the dance floor. Some swing historians feel that the revival of swing is a backlash against the musical styles, or lack thereof, that emerged over the past several decades. Others believe the renaissance of swing is simply the next logical progression in the nostalgia cycle in which everything old is repackaged for a new, younger audience. Here in no particular order are a few theories that swing dancers themselves have put forth about why swing dancing has come back. Number one, the gapification of America. During a period in 90s fashion, androgyny was the norm. Clothing is unisex and drab, both boys and girls wore jeans or khakis, baggy sweatshirts and baseball caps, and people had lost all sense of style. In the 90s, the swing scene marked a return to glamour. The women wore elaborate hairdos, full makeup, and feminine frocks. Whereas the men were clean cut, sporting tailor-made suits and such manly accessories as fedoras, suspenders, and ties. Number two, the internet. The internet has helped support swing in two ways. On the one hand, the net has allowed music and dance lovers to find one another and spread the good news of swing across the globe. What happens when plugged in people congregate for a little indoor surfing? You get cyber cafes. From here, you can browse some of your favorite pages with Netscape, log into IRC and chat with people all over the world, or log into See You See Me and use live video to communicate. From here, you can chat, email, browse the web, or tell net to the site of your choice for a fistful of quarters. Yet, at the same time, people were searching for a release from their cyber lives. Swing provided a practical forum in which to meet, mingle, and have fun. Number three, CDs and VCRs. During the early 1990s, CD and VCR technology had made the great music and movies of a bygone era available to the masses. Many dancers learned their first moves watching classic films such as Buck Privates or Hell's a Poppin' on late night television. In the 90s, they could not only buy these films for relatively little money, but also purchase instructional videos from some of the top dancers in the world. Similarly, whereas swing lovers once had to rely on their grandparents' old vinyl records, in the 90s, major labels released collector series on CD featuring some of the greatest hits of Jordan, Prima, Dorsey, Ellington, and dozens of others, these new compilations have helped to further the swing movement. So there you have it. These were just three of the lesser known theories that contributed to the 90s swing revival. So what are you waiting for? Swing dancing is easy enough to learn online. Take over 20 of my new swing dance courses for free. I'll see you in class.